we set up a projector and we got popcorn and watched the original. Like, I cannot tell you how many times I have seen your opening scene. I am so honored to be a part of this franchise with you. And by the way, I only- What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel, Critical Overlord here. As you saw in the opening, uh, Jenna Ortega recently had an interview, a sit down with Drew Barrymore, who we know starred in the original film as Casey Becker. Uh, and she shared her um, her love for the film, the opening, and how her and the entire cast sat around for it around Halloween time while they were filming Screen 5 out in Wilmington, North Carolina, and how that film means so much to her and how she has seen the opening so many times. I just kind of wanted to pull at some straws here a bit with that knowledge of what she said at the very end, talking about the fact that she has seen that opening so many times, and she made that a point to like express it in that manner. So... What I'm getting from that, on top of what we already know, is that this is just like another hint that Tara Carpenter, Jenna Ortega's character in Screen 5, is going to be participating in the opening kill, the opening attacks, whatever whatever happens at the beginning of Screen 5 will have to do with this character, Tara Carpenter. That is probably what's going to lead to her sister, played by Melissa Barrera, Sam Carpenter, returning to her hometown to investigate these series of vicious crimes because Ghostface is going to now attack her younger sister and I believe that's going to occur at the beginning of the film there's been a lot of other things that have come out to suggest this such as things that we found out from the audition tapes I'm not really going to go into too much detail there about those tapes if you saw the audition tapes you know exactly what I'm talking about there are things discussed in that film or in those tapes that would indicate that Tara Carpenter is going to be attacked by Ghostface at some point in this film um whether or not she makes it out alive, that'll be up for what happens in the film. It's very much, it seems very obvious she will make it out alive. And then that, that's what prompts her sister to return to her hometown. I just found it a bit um, interesting how Jenna's, Jenna's wording of putting so much significance around that opening scene and how many times she's watched it. I just thought, well, maybe she's watching it so many times because there's truth to what has been making the rounds online. There's some truth to it. One of the Carpenter sisters, in this case, Tara, will be involved in an opening attack. We've, we've been seeing speculation that maybe there's a third sister played by Selena Gomez who is involved in the opening with Tara and she's the one who ends up dying. Tara survived. Sam comes home and she's trying to figure out what's going on. Who attacked my sister? Why did they attack my sister? What does this have to do with me now now that i'm involved because once she comes back to town i'm assuming that entire little dynamic between herself and her younger sister that'll be the center of this new ghost face killing spree and whatever it is that this ghost face is after regarding these carpenter sisters so i just thought that her wording was another little brief hint and indicator that the carp that's tara carpenter would be the opening victim in one way or another to be the opening victim doesn't mean you have to be the opening kill because you still very well very much are the victim you're a victim to now a just like how sydney was a victim to something at the beginning of the first film she just wasn't a victim of murder someone broke into her house and tried to attack her they tried to kill her ghostface failed he left but sydney was still a victim there so jumping into another topic speaking of sydney um sydney prescott she at this point in, in this franchise she has no business caring about what's going on in woodsboro i don't imagine she'll be living in woodsboro in this film she was not living in woodsboro for screen four she was very hesitant to return in screen four to woodsboro during her book tour kind of was forced to stay given the fact that ghostface uh planted evidence of potential things leaking to her now making her an interest in the case so she had to stay in town so in screen five i honestly don't see her going back just because news breaks that oh hey you know um local teens have been butchered by a ghost face killer similar to how similar to that of what happened back in the 90s in our small hometown regarding sydney prescott yada 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 i don't see that happening again what i see happening is something personal will happen with these new killings and then that's what will prompt her to return to her hometown because honestly in screen three she finds out about cotton she yeah she's a little weary but you notice she doesn't she doesn't rush out to go go back to woodsboro or to go back to anything that has to do with where those killings are occurring because for the time being they had nothing to do with her until the killer started calling her i don't think sydney's going to get any phone calls that are going to prompt her to return to woodsboro this time around i honestly see something happening 
regarding something something personal about Sydney Prescott would have to go down with this new batch of killings that's going to make her come back to town. That's exactly what's going to happen because she she does not go out of her way to go out and be that type of hero. She's always kind of like forced into it. She's never looking to get involved. She's always forced into it. But now she's going to be in a position where she has a personal interest in it because now the attention's not going to be on her as much. Uh, it's going to be on these two sisters and something regarding their family, something regarding why Sam left their hometown of left her hometown of Woodsboro when she was very young, because we know she is going to be returning. So why did she leave? We'll find that out during the film. And then Sydney will end up getting involved because something in this town with these new killings will have something to do personally with her. This could be the death of Dewey or Gale. This could be something else that has to do with the carpenters that somehow links to the prescott family or sydney herself so i just want people to keep that in mind this film isn't just going to be a retread of sydney being the focus sydney's going to be back at the center of things she's going to be right there in it with the carpenter sisters but the attention is mostly going to be on the carpenter sisters that's what it feels like it feels like we're going to be taking that step back letting sydney have some type of some type of um, peace in a way, even though she's still dealing with the now new killing spree, she'll be having some type of peace in many ways in this perspective or in this aspect because the attention won't all just be on her. She's going to get involved out of personal interest because something will happen that sparks her to return. And the only honest thing I can see sparking her to return like like this to which will be the death of Dewey. That's honestly the only thing I can see happening. The death of Dewey, I know that's not something many of us want to talk about. The death of any of these characters, I get it. But Sydney has no business coming back to Woodsboro just because just because Ghostface killing spree start. That's that's very out of character for her, in my opinion. That's not what's happened in the past. She does not just come back because killing starts. Something something has either forced her or she was lured in or she was you, you know, it's it's gonna be something personal this time though. But those are my thoughts. I just want to share those really quick with you guys. Let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification and never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. Also, guys, there's a lot of there's a lot of content creators who do content about Scream. Uh, there's TCNR Network, Podcast Now, Killjoy Jake and unreal ent just shout out to them go ahead and check out those channels they're very interesting i'll leave a link to all of them down in the comment section as well with all that in mind guys i will see you to the next in the next video